Woo, woo. Welcome back to the other side. In this video, we're gonna show you everything there is to know about Joshua Tree National Park. We just came in from Las Vegas, actually four days in Las Vegas. We're pretty exhausted. We partied a little bit. Anna had her favorite chef's restaurant, Gordon Ramsay. And I forgot to mention, we are in California. This is my first time being here. Anna has been here before, but big moment. We're gonna be going up the coast, 30 more days left until Thanksgiving time. So we're gonna have as much fun as we can. <laughs> yes, Anna does not want to be in today's video because she is very exhausted. We have been traveling for the past hundred, hundred days. That's just so much travel for a human being to even comprehend. We see something cool and awesome every single day, like so many hikes, and we've been driving and nonstop. We still appreciate that we're here, but as you can see, Anna is tired. Our first trail in the park is the Chola Cacti Trail. It's really simple, 0.2 miles, quick walk, and the cacti are cool. I've never seen anything like them before. Definitely don't want to touch these bad boys. That's for Very sure. freaky looking. They just surround the trail. We are gonna do this and then head to another hike afterwards that's a little bit longer. We have not seen Joshua trees yet, but we saw them a ton on the drive here. Like Anna said, the drive from Vegas to here was full of Joshua trees. Even some burnt down in this video right here. One side of the highway is burnt down, the other is lush with a bunch of Joshua trees. So if you could make that drive happen, definitely do it. It is pretty and all the way through, you can see beautiful desert. I wanna bring up something funny about Joshua Tree National Park. My brother's actually coming here in a week's time to propose to his now girlfriend, Hopefully it will be his fiance, but that's an exciting time. Congrats to you, Connor and Sloan, if she says yes, of course. Being silly, of course she's gonna say yes, but you have to keep it a secret, okay? Honestly, by the time this comes out, which is like two months after this was They'll done, probably be married. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone give a huge congrats to my brother Connor and Sloan down in the comments. Woot woot. We have just arrived at our next trail, which is Split Rock Trail. It's about a two mile round trip hike. Not bad at all. And we're doing it towards sunset. So it's definitely cooled off a little bit. Believe it or not, Joshua Tree National Park is famous. One of the most famous spots to rock climb. If you're coming to Joshua Tree, definitely check out taking a class here. It's probably beginner to advanced. This is the reason it's famous. These massive boulders spread out through the entire park. When we were driving in last night, I was like, Anna, I'm not that excited. It's just gonna be another desert. We were just in Utah and Arizona, but this is unique. It has the Joshua trees, of course, that make it iconic. And then these rock formations, boom. Just like a Dr. Seuss book. I feel like I'm in a different world right now. I'm so pumped. I actually got enough energy to come do something today. I'm really glad I didn't miss out on these rocks. I know it was just kind of our first day here, but it was definitely a good warm up. We have a few more trails that we're gonna do tomorrow, so we'll let you know which ones are our favorite. And right now we're gonna have some dinner. Pretty sunset going down behind me, but if you guys are wondering where we are camping tonight at Joshua Tree, we're at a casino about two minutes from the entrance to the park. Not bad at all, we're gonna wake up at like 5 a.m. to catch the sunrise at our first trail. We've just arrived at Skull Rock Trail. We got up at 5.30 a.m. to catch the sunrise here, and wow. Look at the pink, the blue, it's rising slowly, and then right ahead of us is Skull Rock. Last night we were at Split Rock, and at the head of that trail, it was a boulder split in half, and. Right here is a massive boulder that looks like a skull. Boom, Skull Rock. We just showed you Skull Rock and across the street is Skull Rock Trail, which we are about to embark on right now. But before we do, I'd like to introduce you to the Joshua Tree, hence the name of the national park. But this is a small one. You're gonna see bigger ones along the way. And this is the first time you get to see it up close and personal, woot woot. One of the 
reasons this park has become so popular recently is because there have been reports that have come out that the Joshua tree might go extinct in a hundred years. This would result because of the planet heating up and obvious climate change reasons. So if you are into Joshua trees, definitely come sooner than later. This park is pretty unique, but um, we're trying to find more things to do because it is kind of a lot of the same stuff. So hopefully throughout the day, we can show you the best of the best. We really enjoyed this trail because it had the best of both worlds. It had the crazy rock formations and then it also had smaller Joshua trees. Hopefully we see some bigger ones by the end of the day, but definitely I recommend. It's really easy and perfect for sunrise. I want you guys to take in the beauty of the Woot Woot Mobile. Anna's just flicking me off right now. She's really tired once to take a nap, but this thing has been through a lot with us. 100 plus days in the road, we had to build it out. If you want to see that video how we built it out, press right up here and flick off Anna right back. I really like the rabbit we saw on that trail. It was really um, different than the bunnies I see back home. They had like longer legs, really big ears, and a longer tail. I'm tired, Ian's tired. I think we're gonna take a nap, and then we're gonna go on two more trails today. Just woke up from a much needed nap. Wow, Anna and I just passed out for like three hours after that hike this morning. We needed it. We're getting tired, I'm telling you. We arrived at the park around 6.30 in the morning. There was no one here. Uh, then we took a nap and we woke up to a million cars. There is a full park today. Our biggest tip for not just Joshua Tree National Park, but all national parks in the U.S. is come in the morning and avoid weekends. Today is a Saturday, so we fell on the wrong day. So something super cool is that Ian and I have been almost completely plastic free since the start of our trip. This bag is reusable and that's where we put all of our garbage. And if we ever do buy plastic, we save it because at national parks, there's recycling. So we always try to make sure to do that. Obviously, you can't be perfect every now and then, but I think we actually use less plastic on this trip than we have in our entire lives, which is pretty cool. So you might be wondering why I'm hiking in a dress. Well, the truth is usually on a hike, I wear hiking stuff like workout clothes, and then I pack a dress so we can take a picture for whatever reason. But for this trail and all the trails in Joshua Tree National Park, they're super easy. They're more like walks in the park. So why not just wear your dress so you don't have to change? Here is the Hall of Horrors. Surrounded by Joshua Trees are these massive boulders. And people are actually up there climbing up. It seems like you kinda can climb anywhere around here. If I can give one huge recommendation for any of you looking to come to this park, it's to only come for one day. It's a great day trip spot. It's only three hours away from LA three hours away from Las Vegas. At the end of this video, we'll give you some trails that we recommend to do during that day trip. But yes, I think you only need one day in this park. All other national parks we've ever been to, you definitely need more than one day. Look how cute she is with our little coffee cups that we drink every day. Her Hell's Kitchen necklace she got from Las Vegas and her pretty dress. If you like this dress, there's a link to it in the description below. It's a little more pricey uh, than I'm used to, but it's just really cute and I know it'll last long, so it was worth it. These Joshua trees are exactly like snowflakes. Not one of them are the same. Here's some facts about them. The oldest one in the park is a thousand years old, but on average they get to 500 years old. These trees were named after the prophet Joshua in the Old Testament because Mormon settlers thought it looked like him praying. So that's pretty cool. And lastly, the Native Americans that used to live on this land used Joshua tree leaves and the branches to make sandals, to make woven baskets and other items for their tribe. It's just really peaceful here. It's pretty crazy because there are a ton of cars here and somehow we have all this to ourselves. So I think there's a lot of space for people to kind of find their own spots. Lastly, we are seeing a lot of California license plates. So like we said, good day trip. We're starting our final trail of the day. It's called Barker Dam and it's the most popular in the park and there's 
tons of people here. It's kind of ironic because I just talked about how there was no one on our last trail and this one is like crazy. There's no parking. We brought our masks just to, you know, just in case because it's so crowded. There's actually sometimes water here, uh, but there hasn't been much rain, so we will not see water today. Look at these clouds. These are going to be so pretty for sunset, so I'm very excited to see them. There is a reason this trail is so popular because it is interesting and different than the other trails we've been on. My favorite part about this park is not what you think. It's not the rocks, it's not the Joshua tree. I personally love the foliage leading up to the rocks and trees because I think it makes it so much more in depth and unique. I don't know, it gives it this extra pizzazz. The Baker Dam Trail is definitely one of the best places to catch the sunset in the park. Just look at it. It's just beginning to set now and it's really pretty. You can climb the rocks and take it in. There's a lot of people up top. Yes, this is definitely the spot if you're going to come for one day, come to Barker Dam for sunset. It's going to be packed, but it's definitely the most beautiful. It was a great first time in California here at Joshua Tree. Didn't feel like California, kind of felt like the desert still, which it is. But we are heading to the coast finally, to Orange County, and that's where it's gonna really feel like California. If you guys enjoyed this video, we have a ton of other videos up in this playlist right here. It's our whole van life. USA road trip. It starts from all the way from the beginning of us building our van to the end of our trip. So definitely check that out. Anna has a few words to say. One thing Ian forgot to mention is don't forget to download the All Trails app. We use it at every national park to find our favorite trails, but also at this park especially, we downloaded our trails beforehand because in Joshua Tree, you do not have any service at all. If you enjoyed this video or got any value out of it, please like it, comment down below, don't forget to subscribe, and definitely check us out on Instagram. Amazing content and all our platforms and I think they're all helpful so check us out we'll see you in the next one Rita, Rita. next time on the other side in this video we're gonna show you the best things to do in Los Angeles this is my one of my best friends from college so Tommy guys, this is a really really cool tunnel like this is actually insane if you're gonna get anything out of this video it's gonna be where to eat the best taco in LA I've never seen the Walk of Fame on anyone's videos being this dead. We're here at Venice Beach. We're gonna be exploring Venice and the Santa Monica Pier today. 